think this is a closet that they can- Oh shit, break out of. You know, can you just make a little bit of noise, please? So let me know you're there. Oh, okay. It's time to go. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to go out and start doing some POIs um, this this uh, in-game week. I've spent the entire day, in-game day, pretty much gardening and uh, fixing up the moat and fighting off a few little hordes here and there. And it's taken me, uh, like I said, the whole day to do that. But we are really doing good on the food now. So I've got seven meat stew, a full stack of pure mineral water, we made some salad. We made a fruit salad. Uh, so I've got uh, a fruit salad in there. I've got nine bowls of garden salad in here. And we still have another uh, uh, five. Yeah, we still have another five more meat stews to go uh, with that harvest. So, yeah, we, we really brought in uh, some bounty there, and I'm feeling really good about the food. Before we get started, though, uh, we are going to go out and do a, a nighttime quest. Which is always fun. But uh, before we get started, we got some points to look at. Oh, you know what? We also did some compost, too. Uh, so let's grab that. I was informed uh, by one of the viewers on the live stream, and I am live streaming today. It is Saturday afternoon, so if you guys hear me occasionally talk to other people, it's because we have an audience. Everybody wave to the audience. Hi, audience. Uh, so they're hanging out with us. Uh, let's go ahead and get a compost going here. Uh, but I was told that uh, if I... Put fertilizer on a crop that's already planted, then it will remain in place and I don't have to replant it. And I think maybe one of you guys told me that in the comments a while back too, but I just have a hard time remembering everything. So we're going to really start making fertilizer like crazy so that we can do that and, you know, keep our crops um, in place. I don't have to replant them, so that'll save some time. Because, man, it does take a long time. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> that was good timing. Okay, let's kill her first. Um... We want to make sure that we don't get any more screamers. Um, I don't care about the normal zombies she calls in. I just don't want more screamers or we'll get an escalation. So we got this group of yahoos here. After we deal with these guys, though, we're going to um, we're gonna look at some points. I have some points to spend, and then we're going to go out and uh, do a quest. I think we're okay. I don't think we have any more screamers from that that scream uh, i want to get out of here too because you know we've got i've been cooking i've got the forges going and the place is obviously heating up so we just need to get out of here let's apply some bleeds on these guys I don't see any zombos coming from that direction so i think we're okay uh let's see what else do i have to update you on I did a little bit of mining. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm like really running out of space again, so I need to palletize some more stone. Uh, so I'll be working on that off camera. And yeah, I think that's pretty much where we are. I don't think I have any clips to show you, you know, from off camera stuff. I got, we already have the mini bike loaded up. So yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, let's grab more of that. Oh, we need to leave the compost behind. I should probably even think about making another compost bin. We're going to eat this meat stew right now because uh, we need to. And let's also throw back a a mineral water. Wait, don't we have extra mineral waters? Um, Could have sworn I had extra mineral waters. Maybe I don't. Okay. Either that or I put them somewhere else. Let's just drink one of these then made some more blackstrap coffee in here, so we'll hang on to that for when we go mining or for horde night. Oh yeah, I, I, I did make a little bit more. I thought, I thought I had done that. Okay, so we should be good on food and drink. Hey, is there anything in here I wanted to do something with? I don't think so at the moment. Um, our armor is in pretty good shape, so we don't need to, we don't need to do anything with that. So let's look at the points. Uh, I am slowly building up the hazmat set too. So I got the boots, the mask, and the pants. So we still need the gloves and the, the chest piece, and then we'll have that in place. Okay, so let's look at our points. I'm going to favor fortitude and living off the land. I want to get living off the land all the way to five because then we can do uh, irrigation and we can also set up chicken coops and stuff like that for even better food. 
Uh, plus the fact that, you know, once we get fortitude up, then we can get uh, pain tolerance up and healing factor and just make ourselves a little more robust than we currently are. So, so fortitude is going to be the tree that we're going to be focusing on for a while. So I have three points here. Let's do this. Let's get our fortitude glasses on for a minute. So we'll wear those so we have an effective extra point. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, put a point into we're gonna put two points into for well actually hold on what's this require that requires seven okay so that gives us an effective seven but we also used uh, our points up in doing that so the next time we level I'll put the glasses on and we'll be able to get land lover which will then allow us to harvest three items from uh, crops and it'll unlock the rain collector because we've been waiting forever to finish that quest. I just have to remember to be wearing my fortitude glasses or my tough guy sunglasses when I'm harvesting crops in order to actually get that benefit. So you know what's going to help me remember to do that a little bit better is if we actually store the tough guy sunglasses in the farming uh, crate. So that way when I look in there and I see them, I'll go, oh, that's right. I need to wear those in order to get three pieces of produce from the harvest. See how that works? All right. Beautiful. That takes care of our points. We are very close to the next level two, by the way. So uh, we got that going on for us. And I think we're ready to go. So we have a quest, um, a tier three uh, fetch quest, which is just in the desert, not too far from us. And uh, so we're going to go do that at night. And yes, I know I'm a few bricks shy of a load sometimes, but we're going to do it anyways because we're going to do it. We're going to have fun and hopefully we won't die. Um, so let's do this, and then, yeah, I'm not worried about her. Uh, then we'll go do this turn in and, you know, maybe just continue doing some quests for a while. Uh, I've been, you know, as those of you guys who have been keeping up with the, the series, I've been just working really, really hard, uh, since we've done this move, and I haven't had a lot of time to do quests. In fact, I think we've done one quest, one trader quest since we moved down here, so... You know, but we're getting well established in the new home, and and we're we're going to be able to start spending more time questing again um, and looting. One of the things I need is a crowbar. I'm still looking for a crowbar. We did learn the uh, schematics for the gyrocopter, but I need a crowbar to get the parts. You know, for that. Okay, uh, and likewise for the motorcycle too. I still would like to make the motorcycle. Um, I'm mostly still using the mini bike just because it's a, lo a lot more fuel efficient, you know, than the four by is. So, um, you know, for the time being, anyways, we're going to just stick with the mini bike. All right, let's take a look and see where are we going? So let's just get on this highway here. It is almost nighttime. Oh, that's, that's the, the the desert wind. I was going, what is that noise? I heard like a background noise. It sounded like, uh, you know, like interference or something, but it's just the, the desert wind. Are we, oh, wow. Do we have to go all the way up on top of that hill? I bet you we do. That's going to be fun. Seriously? There's a, Oh, you know what? I killed that vulture like a million years ago. He's still there. Let's harvest him because we're, we're after animal fat and spoiled meat. All right. It's nighttime. Awesome. Do we really have to go up there? Uh, no, we don't. It's, a, it's on the other side. Okay. I was going to say that's going to be interesting, man. Oh, shit, this place. This is going to be fun. All righty, then. Yeah. I know this place. I know this place. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> what is this? This is a fetch quest. Okay, that's the good thing about it. We don't have to kill everything in here. Um, So let's go ahead and start it. That reset the Zombos, which is fine. Okay, we're going to try... Uh, this isn't going to work too well, but we're going to try and be as quiet as we possibly can here, okay? So, let's wake up 
Feral Arlene first. Alright, so far so good. We're going to have uh, Mr. Janitor over here to deal with. Okay, those are the easy zombies, you guys. Those are the easy ones. Looks like we have a white over there. He's going to be fun. Um, Just trying to decide if I want to... I'd like to loot these cars. All right. I'd like to loot the cars, and I'd kind of like to loot the... Uh, uh, those guys too, because I think there's a chance of getting a backpack upgrade from the dumpsters. Is she going to come over here and cause us trouble? Let's just pull her over here. Okay, we woke up. Those guys. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go play Ring Around the Rosies here. Have to make sure we don't leave the premises. Okay, is it just Nurse Nancy? Let's go over here. Oh, no, not that way. I thought those guys were over on this other side. Let's go all the way around to the back. Hold still. Oh, shit. Okay, time to go. See, I can handle these guys one at a time. Two at a time is risky. Anything more than that is suicide. Okay, he's trying to break into that place. Time to go. You're infected. Horse shit. Okay. Let's deal with that. That's why we keep honey in the mini bike. All right. I think we have just a, a moment to breathe here. Now, if I can just pull one at a time, right, we can deal with them. I just don't want more than that. Let's grab this uh, construction worker. Let's pull him back out here, too. All right, come on, Bubba. He did. All right, let's just kind of there. Let's hit this car here. Uh, I'm gonna put my luckies on. Come on, give us something good. Uh, well, you know, pain pills are good. We'll hit this one next. Pain pills are good. Except for we want to actually loot them. So we're just getting warmed up. It's when we get in ah oh shit. Okay. Are you guys normals? Yeah, they're just normals.
You dead. You dead. Uh, now we got a freaking abrasion, though. Do I have a normal bandage in here? Uh, I do. Let's just take one of those. We'll save the big many packs for for when we really need them. Is it just you? Down with the sickness. She's feral, but she's dead. Okay. We got him. We got this, you guys. We got this. Until we don't. We have it until we don't. Right? Let's go hit this other car. Come on, give us something good. That's something good. Nice. Max level shovel. I'll take it. We can use that to repair our existing max level shovel. Well, when I say max level, I mean a red shovel. This is a 900. Uh, so when this gets down, we'll just combine it with this one, and then we'll still have a really good shovel. Let's put some stuff in here. I'm going to throw out the jars just because we can make them very easily now. I'm going to throw that out. Uh, everything else, I think I'm gonna, we're going to keep. Okay, now, let's get over here and... Ah, oh, shoot, we just had another spawn in. What is that? Can't tell what that zombo is. Okay, let's use the scope. Oh, that's Farmer Brown. Okay, I'm not worried about him. Okay, let's take out, take out Farmer Brown here. Okay, I want to check these dumpsters. Let's make sure we're reloaded here. Before we... These make a hell of a lot of noise, so before we open them, let's just peek our head around the corner and see there's still at least... There we go. Okay. Let's deal with this guy. He dead. All right. Is there anybody else sneaking around the corner that's going to hear us do the dumpsters? I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay. We'll hit these two. You never know what you're going to find in a trash can, you know? Sometimes you can find some good stuff. Like lockpicks, for example. What's it going to be, man? Okay. We're not saving the brass. I know, I can't believe I'm throwing brass away, but this is Ravenhurst, ladies and gentlemen. I can make brass, and I've got it coming out my ears. I would not do that if this was vanilla, trust me. Duct tape's always good. Oh, we just got somebody's attention. He did. All right, let's check this one now. Nothing. Yeah, dumpsters make a lot of noise. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually take that. I need plastic to make shotgun slugs, among other things in, in Ravenhurst. Okay, so the easy part's done. It's going to get a little tougher now. So let's get the bike over by the door. Um... I want to go down along the outside and make sure we're completely clear down here. I think we are, but let's just double check. Our goal, of course, is to get to the satchel before anything else. Because once we get it, you know, then we've accomplished the quest. And then, you know, we'll still probably try and go after the fat loots, but... Uh, I guess that's just trash in there. Okay. All right, I think we're clear outside. Now, I did not bring a damn thing to do any blockage, so I guess we're we're not going to do anything like that. Let's make some noise. Okay, everybody loaded? Let's give our auto shotgun ready to go. This is creepy, man. Not gonna lie. We'll just take it nice and slow. Be as quiet as we can. 
and we're still going to trigger some zombies in spite of that. Oh shit, see what I said? I was quiet. Alright, so we just got a normal cheerleader there. We got, oh shit, we got a greenie. That's going to be fun. A greenie and a feral. I think this calls for this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so the satchel is that direction. Let's clean up this crap so we don't trigger anything. I'm not really interested in looting guys other than fat loots. Just because this is so dangerous right now, we just need to get to the satchel. And then we'll decide if we want to attempt the, you know, the fat loots at the end after we get the satchel. But basically, if you're not familiar with this POI, there's four rooms... Uh, just like this in hallways, and then there's really nasty stuff on the roof. I would like to get this leather. We're going to do it, because I'm very low on leather. It has fat loot and secret loot, Karn? Ooh. Don't tell me where the secret loot is yet. Let me see if I can figure it out. And then if I can't figure it out, I'll I'll ask you for a tip or something. Um, this also will give us leather. Okay. Uh, I need glass to make a scope, so I'm actually going to hang on to that broken glass. Okay, so we've cleared one of four rooms. Um, let's go this way. Doors locked. There's probably some Zikaroos in the hall here. Yeah, there's one. Wait, is that a zombie or is that trash? I think that's a, a lab zombo. Let's see if we can just kill her with the silenced weapon. I don't have really good pistol skill, but quiet is good in a situation like this. Cool and quiet. That's what we want to be. Chances are good that that bag's going to have uh, an axe blade schematic. And uh, $154 in cash. <laughs> let's go check it out anyway. What are we wearing? We should be wearing these, but actually let's keep our luckies on for this bag. Oh, shit. Okay, so the thing we want to do here is not wake up the other rooms. So let's just let them come out, and we'll dispatch them quietly. Because if we wake up all the rooms, then then we're going to have a shitstorm. Trust me. Okay, come on, lady. She's taking a long time to break that door. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, let's go in here now. We got an Edgar sitting right up on the chair there. Let's see if we can pull him independent of everybody else. He's normal too. He's not feral, so we're we should be good. We'll just take him out with our nine here. It's the qu quietest way to do it. Gotta love the silencer, man. It is a must-have, I'll tell you what. You know what, too? I have some night vision goggles. I should have brought those, because then we wouldn't have to have our light on, but I didn't, so, you know, here we are. Okay, very, very quiet. Set 
satchel's right over there somewhere. Oh, shit. Dude. Okay, near a sleeper. He's outside. I think this is a closet that they can... Oh, shit! Break out of. You know, can you just make a little bit of noise, please? So let me know you're there. Oh, okay. It's time to go. We were doing good for a while there. Alright, we're just going to take them on as they come down here. Killing corridor. Are you the last one, Edgar? Yeah, let's save some ammo. Alright, let's reload. So presumably, we've woken up all the Zeeks in this in this room now too. Presumably. Oh, look at that. Bookcases. Alright, let's check that. I've already got that, or know it, rather. I'm going to check the dressers, guys, because uh, chance for backpack upgrade, which we desperately need. I don't want that. Um, we are going to get the leather, too. We can turn this back into normal leather uh, back at the uh, base with our tanning rack. Nothing in there. We'll check the lockers, too, because they also have a chance of spawning the backpack upgrade. And then uh, we'll hit the next room after this. Come on, backpack upgrade. That is not a backpack upgrade, so we will scrap it for cloth. And uh, the satchel is probably on top of all this stuff, maybe, I'm thinking. No, 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 no. We don't want that shit. It's actually over here. Yeah, it's in... Where is it? It's right under here. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's up above. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. Quest is accomplished. Now the rest is gravy. We can go anytime we want to. That is sells for 91. I think we'll we'll keep that. Um, was there a dresser in here? There's cabinets. No, no dressers. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to loot every single thing. So let's go. Oh, what's that? That's a cupboard? Doesn't look like a cupboard. Let's go into here. I think this... Uh, oh, this is a bathroom. Okay. We could have Zeke in here. Let's get the shoddy ready. Nope. Nice sink with the tile floor on it. That's a... Uh, uh, we're going to take those because you can only get those from looting, I believe. I don't think you can make bowls. We need them for salad and stuff. Uh, I don't really... Didn't really need to take that, but... Backpack upgrade. Um, leather and cloth. We got the next point. What I'm going to do with that point is wait till we get back to the base. And we're going to put our, um, our tough guy sunglasses on, which will give us another point of fortitude. And then we're going to be able to take living off the land for. Okay, so that's the plan for that point. All right. Let's go back out into the hall. This is the only room we haven't cleared yet. 
I believe we're safe uh, in this room across the way. Let's grab this bag before it despawns. There might still be some Zeeks in there, too. We'll have to just be careful. Uh, all right, we'll take that. There's a decent amount of food in here, as I recall. All right. Let's clear the other room first before we finish looting. Lots of leather in this room. Keep those weapons loaded. Oh, shit. That scared me. All right, it's just the one guy. Hold still so I can bash your brains in. There we go. All right, is that it? Okay, so we've cleared the building. We still have the roof, though. The roof's got the worst zombos on it. Uh, but let's check all these bookshelves. And I actually want the broken glass because I need to make a scope. I want to make a 4x scope for the AK. Oh, that's nice. We'll learn that. We'll sell that. Likewise, we'll sell that, and we'll sell that. Okay, let's get this leather really quick. We can one-shot it now, so it doesn't take too long. A couple more bookshelves to check, too. We have a crawler banging on something. You guys ever feel sorry for the crawler? He's like... On the ground all the time. Everybody else is faster than him. He's the easiest zombie to kill. I don't know, man. He's got her pretty rough, doesn't he? I want to get all of these doors knocked out because we get hinges for them. And um, we need those to make uh, storage containers. So let's make sure uh, we bust all the doors. We're going to need our pick for this door. Actually, I want to keep those frames on our toolbar. Okay, we got a hinge out of that one. Is there a door in this room? I don't think so. All right, I believe we've finished looting in here, so let's go uh, check the food. We want uh, all the canned food we can get our hands on. Uh, and beverage, of course, because we can make some pretty good stuff with canned food. I know how to make gumbo stew. I know how to make sham chowder. I know uh, we can make fruit salad with pears. Uh, plus, we want more bowls, of course. You don't, Maruski, you don't feel sorry for the crawler, huh? Truth be told, I really don't either. I'm just, I'm just messing. Screw that crawler. We'll kill him just like we'll kill everybody else, right? Uh, that we can use to make Grandpa's uh, learning elixir, I think. The one that gives you the XP boost. I uh, don't need that. I'm, I mean, assuming it's the same as it is in vanilla, which is not usually a good thing to assume in Ravenhurst. It took me a long time to adjust to this mod. You know, adjust in the sense that you can't think that things work exactly the way they do in vanilla, because in a lot of cases they don't. But it's just a hard habit to break, you know? Uh, okay, yeah, let's get these cabinets. Salt is good. You can make salt, too, but you have to go out into the desert and find, uh, like, the salt stalagmites that stick out of the ground. Why do I need coffee pot? Oh, uh, I mean cooking pots. I think I need those for the rain barrel thing that we're going to actually work on when we get back to the base. Because once we once we get to... Um, this is going to be easier to break. Once we get to living off the land 4, then we can make actually make the rain catcher. Which I've only been waiting forever to do.
Nice beverage. Time for us to eat some red meat stew. Okay, let's uh, deal with our inventory here. We don't need those. Uh, normally I'd throw the glass out, but not this time. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need that. Uh, I'm going to toss the jars in the murky water because that's very easy to come by now. Once upon a time, it wasn't. These we can make in the forge, so we don't need to be carrying those with us. Um, I think I'll keep the plastic. Let's throw back one of these, and we're going to need probably at least two meat stews to get our food back under control. Maybe even three, but let's just take two for the moment. We're not going to eat any canned food because we want to save those for soups and the other uh, dishes that we can make uh, back at the base. Okay, I think we're finished looting in this room. And I think we're finished looting in the whole building, except for the doors that we want for hinges. And I've been told that we have that there's a secret in this building, too. And I don't know exactly where it's at. Let's see if we can figure that one out. We did... There is kind of a secret area in here, but I don't know if that's... Is that what you were talking about, Karn? I mean, there is cabinets in here, I suppose. Oh, we'll take all of that. Don't really need the mushroom spores now. What's up, Baldy? Oh, he smacked us. I hear at least one more Zeke. There's Nancy. We, we must have, like, the, the Daily Horde coming in. Whoa, why can't I move? What? What the hell? Is there something there? Oh, I bet you it's... I bet you it's that thing. Weird. Okay, let's do a drop off. We want to put stuff in here that's not going to stack or that we're not likely to get more of. We don't care about that. Let's just eat this now. Uh, we'll have to deal with you. You've been dealt with. You have been dealt with. All right, we're keeping the glass. In fact, we should go harvest some more glass so I can make that scope. That can go, that can go. And uh, let's put, let's see, let's put this, this, and I guess the plastic in. Well, no, we have plastic in there already, don't we? We'll put the blueprint in there. Nothing else will go in there. Oh, we did. Never mind. Let's put a couple more things in there. Okay, so we have a little bit of, of breathing space now here in our inventory. Um, I'm not going to wrench those cars at this point. Let's just go harvest some more glass so I have it for making making scopes. I was looking, and I don't know of a way to get broken glass back out of your forge. Um, you know, you can feed sand into it and put glass in it, but I don't know how to get this particular broken glass back out of a forge. If you guys know if there's a way to do that, let me know. So we basically have to just harvest it out in the world and not smelt it so we can use it to make the the scopes. Scopes in particular. I don't know if anything else requires it besides scopes. Hiya, Marlene. Okay, that should be enough. Um, here, let's look, though. I want to make the 4X scope. And that requires 15 broken glass. Um, yeah, that's more than enough. Plus, I have a little bit back of the base anyways. We might as well hit these cupboards. I know, I always say that. I said, I'm not going to loot everything, and I end up looting everything. Just It just happens, you know? It just happens. And we don't even get anything. Uh, we'll take that. Don't care about the the pink sledgehammer, and I don't care about that. All right. I think we've finished looting everything in here. 
And um, it is time for the roof. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a great pleasure. Oh boy, here we go. Let's get this, make sure everybody's loaded. Okay. So obviously we want to take care of the birds first. How did you hear that? Must be a, a triggered thing. Oh shit. Okay. Let's take them down into the killing corridor. Come on, greenies. There's two of them. Actually, here. Oh, nice dodge. Okay. Let's try this again. clear on this side let's get the uh, get these guys because we need the their giblets is that it are we good okay let's check the bird's nest I do need some eggs I'm completely out of them uh, we needed those for blueberry pie, amongst other things. I don't really need feathers, but we'll grab them too. I got lots of feathers. Kind of stopped using archery once I got the silencer. Okay, we'll get that in a second. I think I... Do I have eye candy down on the bike? I think I might. We should go check. Because we could, we could pull something really good out of that. Uh, likewise with the uh, ammo pile, too. All right, let's see what's in here. A generator. Oh, and more stuff. All right, uh, I should actually wrench this stuff. Let's get our ratchet out. I'm assuming, Karn, this is what you were referring to. Okay, that's just a normal block. Normal block. See what's in here. Nothing. All right, let's go check for some eye candy. Oh, okay. So that would seem to suggest then that one of these uh, air ducts has a secret inside of it. It's Either that or it's in the actual roof itself. So let's inspect these guys and see if we can see something that looks a little suspicious. I do have impact bracers on, even though that hurt just a little bit. Uh, anything we can put in here? Yeah. Uh, ah, crap. I don't have the eye candy with me. I left it back at the base. That was smart. We don't need those. I've got a full row of shrooms. Okay, we've got luckies on, right? So let's check the loots first, and then we'll see if we can figure out where this uh, secret is. All right, that's that's ammo. Ammo's always good. Uh, we got the weapons bag over here. Telescopic baton. Oh yeah, I've seen Camel's Gamer use this in his in his playthrough. It's like a uh, riot baton. That's cool. We don't have have really any points to speak of though. What the hell was that? <laughs> he just go he just went sliding right down the hill and I, I saw it kind of in the corner of my vision. How funny is that? Um anyway, we don't really have any points in clubs, so that's not gonna do us a whole lot of good. Let's check the two working stiffs here. Alright, that's good stuff, especially the steel polish, because we need to use that for the horde base now. And ooh, nice sledge. Um, steel armor repair kit. That's actually really nice, too. And then some more steel polish. Okay, I'll take that. That's good stuff. All right, we got to figure out where this secret is. Let's look on the roof. See if we can see a plug anywhere. Anything that just looks a little bit out of place. So here's the bathroom. 
Ah, there it is. I see it now. Look at that. Okay. Look at this. Oh, I guess there's glass here. Is there anything in here, though? <laughs> you can see where I was hitting up above there. This is it? There's, like, nothing in here? This would be a good place to hide in PvP. Oh, man. It's, it's either empty or, or maybe it's just a random spawn thing. Okay, well, that's all right. I mean... It's good to know that this is here for future reference. But man, that's uh that was tricky. That was tricky to find for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to just run right on over here. We're going to grab some wood and some nails. Uh out of here rather. And I don't think I have I've got this box, but this is actually a smaller box. I think I want to make a, a big one. Uh, so let's go into here and for a a drop-off box, I guess a generic box would be appropriate for that. So let's make a generic drop-off box. Um, how many hinges did we get? Yeah, let's make actually two. And that way I can just come throw stuff in it and then go back out and, you know, handle the inventory management off camera later kind of thing. I'm going to stick the glass in here for now, too. We'll make the scope. Late. Well, actually, let's make the scope now. That way we can take it out with us. Because uh, I don't really have a good sniping option. Uh, so we want the 4X mod. So we need 10 steel, 8 poly, and 3 glue. There we go. We're going to put that on our AK. This can go in here for now. Yeah, let's just put them up there so they're up away from the zombos and yeah okay cool so let's just drop off stuff we don't need to take with us and i'll like i said i'll sort it all out later uh we want to wear tough guy sunglasses which i actually put out in the farming crate so i wouldn't forget to put them on when we're gardening now let's go here to fortitude and living off the land for land lover okay so that means we can make beehives we can make farm plots which i i'm not going to do the only point in having farm plots in ravenhurst is you can actually grow underground you don't need sunlight otherwise why do it because you can just till the ground uh, and then rain collectors now for the rain collector we've been waiting for a bazillion years to do this quest um so I think I have everything. Ooh, do we have? Yeah, we should have two beakers. Okay, here, let's make this the active quest for a second. I want to I want to get this done. I've been waiting for a million years to do this. Um, so we're going to need to craft the wine barrels, which we've already done because we have credit for it, and they're right there. Uh, see, because we got two of two. Quit spitting. Yes. Okay, finally. If you guys have been following the series all along, you know <laughs> I've been waiting forever to make this damn thing. Forever and ever, man. All right, so this uh, 
I'm assuming what this is going to do is gather uncontaminated water. I'm assuming that's what it does. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but we're going to find out. Uh, which will uh, be nice, because then, of course, we don't have to go through the... the oh, no, no, we got to stay in there. See, that's the thing I was telling you about. You got to stay in the workstation to get credit for it. Okay, so the quest updated. Place the rain catcher. Okay, we'll place it right over here next to the well. And then it wants us to upgrade it. Requires one tarp to upgrade. Okay. Oh, we have the tarp right here. So I guess we didn't need the tarp to make it. Quest completed. Additional food beehives. All right, now it wants us to make bee. I'm not going to do this right now, uh, but we can make the beehives. Okay, so this says it's catching water, and it does say drinking water. So does it even does it even like purify it too? Like we don't have to boil it. That's going to be handy. Nice. Okay, if that if that's the case, depending upon how much we get out of here, I might make several of those. I like it. We finally finished that quest. Okay, we'll worry about the beehive quest later. We need to go uh, get to the trader, get the turn in, and start the next quest. It gathers murky, empty, and boiled water bottles. All three of them, huh? Well, that's useful. Okay. Somebody did tell me we would get jars from it. All right. What you got for us, dude? Now that you did the job. Magnum Enforcer, Volume 7. Spring with a 44 gun drawn and coming uses 20% less stamina. Uh, I mean... That's useful. This is worth 541. This is definitely the one to get in terms of value. Plus, I could use that to, you know, once this steel sledgehammer wears out. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that. I mean, this we'll probably hopefully come across that again at some point. Oh, we're done with tier three. Hot damn, you guys. Tier four, here we come. And I probably want this. Uh, craft basic resources like ore, stone, and wood into more compact stacks. Okay, that's... That's a vanilla thing, but I want to get the, uh, the you know, complete the whole thing medoodle anyways. We already have a silencer, so we don't need that. I got antibiotics, yeah, so that's what we want. All right. He's not going to have any more tier force for us at the moment. We'll have to wait for him to reset. We are now into tier four. And you don't want to know the cool thing about that is I can't hardly even handle tier threes. So now, <laughs> so now we're getting to do tier fours. That's going to be fun. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up right where we left off and uh, go probably go talk to Trader Jen in the southern city and take our first tier four. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.